spiral from the book of Saw. It is another chapter in the Saw legacy. Uh, I mean, copycat murderers were always a thing in Saw, so I mean, that's essentially what you're getting here, and it feels like Chris Rock said one day, I want to be in a Saw movie, and he did, and he did a fine job. I mean, it kind of felt like his character, Detective Butters from Lethal Weapon, is like all burnt out. But still, it, you could tell that he was having fun being in this movie. And as a Saw fan, it felt like another chapter in a legacy or a franchise that I like. Yeah, I think that there was a, a couple of elements to this story that I really liked because it did feel reminiscent of Saw. You know, the music in particular was something that uh, uh, it brings you back to the world of Saw. Right. And, and you know, the different um, story beats that they would do in the show and the movie as well were definitely reminiscent of Saw. And I also love the way that the, they shot the movie as far as like color schemes because, you know, you can e emanate the color and it becomes like its own character right. within the story instead of it just being a dull um, and you're just kind of going through the story it, it brings vibrance because of the color 100% it's something that I'm very appreciative of uh, the Russell T Davies era of Doctor Who production lighting and background lighting like I'm a sucker for vibrant and mood setting atmosphere and they really do a good job with Spiral to where I actually stepped out of the movie for a moment and appreciated it because it was something that I thought added a little bit of uh uh, character to the movie in itself. Now, like I said, because we are fans of Saw, pretty well versed when it comes to, like you said, those story beats of Saw, therefore incredibly predictable. Very predictable. Had it figured out <laughs> almost immediately. Yeah. But the journey there, I think, is obviously what you're looking towards. Right. It's those traps. They don't hold back on the gore. They don't hold back on those traps. So it did feel like, okay, we're right back in a Saw movie. They are not, they are not softening it up for a new generation. Yeah, the story is very linear and very simple sure. when it comes to within the world of Saw. Right. If you've seen some of the other Saw movies. And like you said, it is very predictable. So uh, as soon as we kind of already predicted exactly what was happening, we kind of just let it flow through. Right. And just let the movie just play let out. Just the movie play out. Absolutely. And I think that, uh, granted, they'll never be able to recapture what I felt during that first Saw movie, especially the ending. They always kind of try to get you with this one. Like you said, because we had it figured out so much, it was just about experience in the movie. I enjoyed it. If you were a fan of Saw, I highly recommend watching it because it's right up our alley. If not, maybe you can wait. But either way, guys, if you saw it, let us know what you thought down below. We had fun with it, but what did you think? You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Check out our review for Army of the Dead. Got to check that out in the theaters too, but thanks so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.